the manufacturing adventures continue as I'm hanging out here at Jurgens with my man Omar. Dude, hey, how you doing today, dude? Not too bad, man. How about yourself? Hey, it is well. We are standing in front of what can only be described as just a massive display of work holding excellence. There's so much to absorb here. So seriously, let's dive head first. What are we looking at? What are we seeing? What we're looking at here is our five axis applications. So we got our sub plates that you would custom design for any five, five axis machine tool. We try to focus more on quick change, repeatability, durability, stability, right? Stability is a big thing, big key on almost any job that you want to do. You're going to get your repeatability, you're going to get your longer tool life. You know, it, it's a win-win for everybody. So what we try to work on is trying to make it the most easiest system to work for everybody, right? So what we want to do is we want, we have our five axis pyramids, we have our five axis risers, we got our five axis self-centering vice. Everything's geared for ease of use, repeatability, okay? So as we go down the application path, we kind of talk to the customer, say, hey, what are you doing? What are your thoughts? How are you gonna utilize this machine? And then we kind of walk them through that. So this is our suggestion, this is how we do it. Here's your pyramid, get three faces. We got a four face pyramid, 30 degree angle. We got our different quick change uh, pallets. We have our different top tooling, vices, ER collets, dovetails, fixture plates. Changes in and out within less than 30 seconds. What's the most important time? Spindle time, right? True story. Your spindle's spinning, you're making money. So that's how we, that's how we focus it. No, all of the above, we have a wide range of solutions. And I know you love showing that quick change here, so let's break it down. And really, as you're doing that, let's let the audience know how important that speed is at the spindle, man. Sure. Um, I'm gonna have to use two hands here eventually, but if we go in, this is our 96, 52. This one's our 52 quick lock pallet. Excuse me. No worries, I got you, we're good. So you basically unlock your pallet, takes a couple seconds. Drops in, you can take that same pallet, turn it 90 degrees. Everybody knows the 9652 repeatability, plus or minus three tenths. You can turn it 90 degrees all the way around, change your ops around, you lock it in, she's ready to go. It's that, it's that simple. Easy and efficient, and you have a variety where you can just go from one to the next to the next. And really, you, you've mentioned that repeatability multiple times, and, and it doesn't really go without saying, let's dive in real. How important is that to operators around the industry? Well, basically, a repeatability is how you're gonna minimize your scrap, right? If you have a tight tolerance job that you're running, you wanna have that repeatability. So if you're going from fixture to fixture or part to part, vice to vice, you want to be able to replace between that plus or minus three tenths, plus or minus five tenths. It's important to have that repeatability. So everything that we're hearing today is optimizing your fifth axis capabilities with work holding that works for you. Hey, everyone, this is Eddie hanging out here at Jurgens, and we're at MTD CNC. We'll see you next time.